The enemy of truth is blind acceptance. Good morning. Welcome to Archives Live Sensible Comments. Previously, Ma'am Richie shared the topic about spiritual passion. God is known for his integrity, and because of that, he finds the light in his children because of the fear and never compromised belief in him. This is our topic for today. Our speaker for today is known to be a purposeful and determined person. He always wants to do something very much and won't let anything get in the way. Friends, I'm referring to Sir Chris. A church is a place where worship services are held. Aside from this, the Bible describes the church as a group of people who are called together for a mission. In fulfilling this mission, God has entrusted faith in which it should not be compromised with anything. Same is true with what is being shared in the Word of God in Jude chapter 1, verse 3. Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. The verse tells us that the church must earnestly cling with the word of God being preached and shared without any apology. In other words, the basis of the faith of the members of the church should be based on truth. And since we're talking about truth, our basis must be the Bible. Malinaw dapat ang posisyon ng panambahan sa mga usapin na may kinalaman sa mga bagay-bagay na pwedeng maranasan ng mga miyembro nito. Darating ang pagkakataon na kung saan may mga sitwasyon na magtatanong at kailangan ng gabay ang mga miyembro ng panambahan, wala dapat ibang magiging basehan kung hindi ang Biblia lang. Hindi dapat magkakaroon ng hindi pagkakaintindihan, ng pagsasabwatan, sigalot, at ng hindi pagkakaunawaan dahil lamang sa hindi malinaw kung ano ang katatayuan ng panambahan. If this happens, surely all members of the church will be properly guided. They will be really in one mission and that is sharing the word of God by not being apologetic. Kapag tunay na malinaw ang katatayuan ng panambahan, Ang bawat membro nito ay matuturuan kung papaano iwaksi nila ang mga gawi na hindi makakatulong sa bawat isa sa kanilang paglilingkod at pagsuyo sa ating Panginoon. Also, that is by then that we could really establish a group of people who are not afraid, bold in sharing the truth to people. Especially if it's filled with people who are really loving the Lord and growing in Him. That will be all and to God the all the One way in which we can show that we stand firmly in the truth is when our words align with our actions. I agree with you, Ma'am Tari. At isa pang paraan para masabi natin ang isang panambahan ay naging totoo sa harapan ng Panginoon. Kung ang lahat ng mga kapahayagan na naibababa dito ay naipapakita sa paraan ng pagkakay ng mga anak na nasa loob ng isang panambahan. As believers of God, let us now have the prayer of salvation. Here is Ma'am Sheila Tulides. Yung makupo tayo po na lang. Amang Diyos, maraming salamat po sa pagkakataong ito. Ako po ngayon ay lumalapit at nagpapakumbaba. Patawarin po ninyo ako sa lahat ng aking nagawang kasalanan sa isip, salita at sa gawa. Sa oras kong ito, tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. Puspusin po ninyo ako ng inyong santong espiritu at kabanalan. Kayo na po ang siyang masunod sa lahat ng aking gagawin at sa lahat ng aking mga plano. Isulat po ninyo ang aking pangalan. Panggitin po natin ang ating mga pangalan. Sheila S. Marie. Sa aklat ng buhay, in Jesus' name, Amen. This time, let us have the declaration. I declare that by the power of the blood of Jesus, we are all COVID-19 free, coronavirus, and all its variants are defeated foe. No weapon form against you shall prosper, and we would enjoy each day of our lives knowing that we love nothing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. That's it for our episode today. Before we end, let us not forget that a healthy church is not afraid to take a strong position for you. See you all next week. This is... 
Our vibes like sensible comments.